All right guys, um, we are back with round number two of my haul. So we're just gonna get started on some more stuff that I got listed. So the first thing I have is this jadeite ribbed canister. This is actually a reproduction piece that was put out by Cracker Barrel. Uh, this would have been in like a three piece uh, canister set, but I only have this one. Um, this came from an auction. I have this listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I got this set of chalkware angels at a yarn sale. So it's these two girls. They all have their uh, made in Korea stickers on the bottoms. So it it is three girls all together. They're in really nice um, condition. I paid $2 for these and I have them listed as a buy it now for $39.99. Got these brass votive candle holders made in India. These have like moon and star cutouts all over them. These here I have listed buy it now $19.99. I got this Laurel Birch crossbody bag at a yard sale. I think I paid $3 for this. It's really cute, very roomy in there. Um, the inside is like blue and red, um, long, it's like messenger style, I should say. Messenger style crossbody canvas bag with the cats. And the back is just that kind of print. This here I have listed as a buy it now for $25.99. Also listed this leather purse by Fry. So they make really nice leather pieces, especially their boots, the Fry bags. This one is all brown leather, pretty clean on the inside. Uh, this I had for a while. I'm pretty sure it came from a yard sale originally, but I just hadn't listed it because it was one of those things where I was like, eh, I don't know, am I keeping it or not? But didn't. I uh, listed this as a buy it now for $69.99. Got this Lennox Mickey Mouse, little birthday Lennox Mickey. He came from a yard sale. I think we paid 50 cents for him. I have him listed as a buy it now for $25.99. Recently picked up this Halloween tin with um, Halloween magnets. These are by JSNY, probably from like the 80s or 90s. I've actually sold this set before. So it comes with all of these little plastic magnets. So there's like little witch, bat, her little cauldron, uh, haunted house. I mean, it's all of them in there. Uh, this here I have listed as a buy it now for $25.99. To keep with the Halloween theme, I have this really large um, Halloween coffee mug. It's got like a orange and black plaid interior. This is by Cobwebs and Cauldrons and it says trick or treat there on the handle. I have this listed, buy it now, $19.99. I paid five at a yard sale. Got this belt buckle at a yard sale. This is like a heavy duty brass belt buckle. It says nibble with gibbles. That's like a local potato chip um, company around my parts. So got that at a yard sale. I think I paid $3 for this. Have it listed on auction. Start price $29.99. Also got this <laughs> Pringles purple little um, like travel container. This is good for like lunch boxes. Surprisingly, these things were selling. So we'll see. I think I paid a quarter for it. And I have it listed as a buy it now for $12.99 really pretty perfume bottle. This is like a purple frosted glass with the um, glass topper. Looks like that. There's no maker's marks or anything. It's not signed. Um, have this listed. Buy it now for $26.99. Eric recently found this vintage Valentine's Day girl um, musical. She's not like a box, but um, when you she turns on her bass and plays music. Um, but she's by Price Japan, is what her sticker says. Very cute, no chips or cracks, just a little bit of paint loss on the red that seems to be so common with these painted ceramics. Um, he paid, I think, $5 for this. 
And I have it listed on auction with a start price of $59.99. I went with auction because there were none listed. So I have no idea. I couldn't even find any in any type of sold. So I have no idea what she's worth, but that's what I went with. I have this coach wallet. This one's an older one, um, nice pebbled leather, kind of like a tan color. There is a couple little pen marks on the inside. The outside looks fine. The outside looks fine, but the inside does have some pen marks. I have this listed, buy it now, $19.99. Eric, Eric got this oyster tin at a yard sale. Um, people do really like oyster tins. Like, oyster tins go for good money at the auction around here. So, um, this one is Gordon's from Chester. Gordon's Seafood, Chester, Maryland is what it says. Uh, this here we have listed. Buy it now, $59.99. have this really nice uh, glass sun catcher. It's of a sun. Like, thick, nice thick glass sun catcher i'm not sure who made it based on the string it appears to be a little bit older but who knows um so this here i paid 50 cents for at a church sale i listed it as a buy it now for 27 dollars and 97 27 dollars and 99 cents that's what i saw similar ones selling for so we'll see eric picked these cards up at a yard sale so these are like very hard to find antique playing cards they're called horse blankets is the name i guess it's a game a playing card game called horse blankets i don't even really want to take them out because i know how ugh, ugh, like fingering up stuff but this is what the cards look like that's the joker card um he paid he got two decks of these um i think he paid 25 dollars a piece for these cards um, he only has one set listed so far on auction, start price $200. These are definitely like a harder to find, like I said, um, card game. So we'll see what this set sells for. This set isn't in as good of shape as the other set and then go from there. Um, so we'll see, but $200, he priced those at. I mean, when I was looking at solds, I was seeing people selling just single cards from this deck for like $7 a piece. So I'm curious to see what like a full deck will end up selling for. This cute little wooden carved made in Germany. This is like a, a wood carver essentially is what he's doing. It says made in German Demographic Republic there on the bottom. Very cool carved piece. This came from a yard sale. I think I paid a dollar for him. And I have him listed as a buy it now for $69.99. Pair of Birkenstock sandals. These are the Papilio. Uh, they have a really cute print on them of um, some flowers and birds. These are a women's size seven. What's the bottoms look like? Um, I think I paid $5 for these or five dollars i listed these as a buy it now for 35 dollars and 99 cents these vintage avon easter earrings these are little girls um easter earrings they were from i want to say they're from the 90s no the 80s these are from 1988 some vintage avon kids jewelry pieces can do pretty good they're just little bunny bunny heads um paid a quarter for these listed them buy it now $19.99. I have a Blossom Bucket um, Halloween piece. This one says Boo. Happy Boo from me to you is what it says. Uh, this here I have listed. Buy it now. $14.99. Like I said in my last haul video, I was saying about how Blossom Bucket sells really well overseas. But the Halloween stuff, not so much. Um... You know, it doesn't sell over there as well. The Halloween stuff. Um, let's see. I have this old Christmas corsage. You could wear this this way or you could wear it this way as well. So it's got some ribbon, pine cones, this like foiled leaf, and then these like mercury glass sprigs there. And then the back has the pin to attach it. The ribbon does have some like um, frame 
but it's still a really cool old Christmas corsage. I have this listed by it now, $12.99. I have this made in Germany blown glass penguin Christmas ornament. He's like a little chunky penguin. Um, this year I have listed by it now, $19.99. And I got this at a yard sale um, a couple weeks ago. It's this, uh, this is so weird. It's like a little wooden Civil War soldier. I live close to Gettysburg, so this kind of stuff is just everywhere. Um, but he's so cute. He's on this spring. And then when you spring him around, he literally just <laughs> springs around. It's just so weird. So it's just one of those like funny little whimsical decorative pieces i'm assuming it was made by um like a boutique that is in gettysburg that sells a lot of um stuff like that they sell a lot of gourds to this place <laughs> um anyway i have this listed buy it now twelve dollars and 99 cents so that is pretty much everything for this haul as far as like what i recently got listed um i do want to share with you some books if you're interested in seeing some books that I recently got. Um, I went to two book sales and then some of these books I also picked up at yard sales. So I'll go through um, some of more of like the vintage books first. So you guys know I like picking up vintage Halloween children's books or vintage children's books in general that kind of speak to me. Uh, but I found this one called The Pumpkin Smasher. I thought this one was so cute. Look at the back of that. It's amazing. Um, this one is from 19, I want to say, uh, 1972 is when it's from. I mean, look at the illustrations in that. It is so good. So that's going in my collection. This one here I actually had when I was younger. Um, this one's called Frankenstein Moved In on the Fourth Floor. I had this one. Um, this one is from 1979, and this also does have some pictures, but it is a little bit more of like a story book, but still really awesome pictures in there. And since I had it when I was younger, I had to get it. So those both came from uh, a book sale. I did pick this one up at a church sale. I think you guys saw me pick this one up. This is, um, it's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. So, got that one. This one came from a book sale. It's called The Night Before Christmas. It's like that. This one, I'm probably keeping, but we'll see. Um, does it have a date on? 1974 for this one. Really cute. It's always so sad when like there's, um, you know, when it's a gift from someone. It was from Auntie Chris and Uncle Rusty. Christmas, 1974. That's so precious. Why'd they get rid of it? I don't know, but it's mine now, so I will treasure it. Um, let's see. Then the only other children's book I got was this one. It's called The Orchard Cat by Stephen Kellogg. Really cool thing about this, other than the fact that, like, the illustrations are absolutely ridiculously amazing. I love this. I'm probably going to sell it, though. Um, I will read it first. But it's actually signed by the author on this page. And how cute is that? I mean, he even drew, like, another little cat. That's so adorable. So, yeah, I'll probably um, sell that one. Then at a yard sale, I picked up this book for 50 cents. It's called Pennsylvania's Adams County Ghosts. So I thought that would be fun to read. Like I said, I live close to Gettysburg. So typically when I find these like local haunted ghosty books, they're always Gettysburg specific, which, you know, I still like reading. But the fact that this is other towns close by to me, um, you know, really interested me because I've been into numerous of these places so it's just fun to read so I'll probably read this and then maybe um oh my gosh this one's signed too by the author cool um maybe sell this after I'm done reading it 
don't know yet I guess it depends um and then the rest of these are all going to be from the book sale i pay two dollars for hard covers and a dollar for soft covers so the first book i got was good girls lie by jt ellison i also got into thin air by john krakauer so this is like a true story of a guy who um climbed mount everest and I had just been seeing like all over Facebook, like I guess there were like news articles recently of them like cleaning up like the trash on Mount Everest and actually like bringing down some of the dead bodies because like so many people die while climbing Mount Everest. It's insane. And I never really read any kind of books about Mount Everest. So I thought this one would be kind of neat to read. Um, I got then she was gone by lisa jewel my friend likes this author so i got a couple of books from this author i think i've only ever read one of her books so far and i liked it so i was like i trust you and then i got the house across the lake by riley sager um i just recently read a book of theirs um and i really really liked it so i'm excited about that one this one's another lisa jewel called the night she disappeared so I grabbed that I think one of these Lisa Jewels, though, I already had that I got at another book sale and I forgot about it because uh, I hadn't read it yet. That's only happened like once so far. So, but I am getting a, my TBR list is getting a little cray cray. So I got to watch out for that when I go to book sales that I'm not picking up books that I already picked up. Um, this one's called Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. So that one's like a romancy possibly a little smutty. Um, the last time I lied, this is also by Riley Sager, so I'm excited about that one. We Were Never Here by Andrea Bartz. This actually came from a yard sale. It looks like they originally got it at Goodwill, but I got it at a yard sale for a quarter. Um, this is more book sale. Watching You by Lisa Jewell. And this is a Lisa Jewell I already have. The Family Upstairs. I have a soft cover, so I'll probably keep the hard cover and sell the soft cover. I've been putting some of the books that I read, like after I've read them, into my antique booth just for fun, but no one seems to be buying them, so I'm not sure what to do with my books after I'm done. I might just start taking them to like the little free libraries because there's a lot of them around. There's just like little, we even have one in my neighborhood actually, now that I'm thinking about it, over in like the retirement age. Um, community there's like a little like hutch they call free libraries I'm sure you guys have all heard of them where you can put books in that you don't want you can trade a book for a book kind of thing or just leave books if you want to so I might do that <coughs> if I'm if I'm doing it over at the um, retirement community I don't think I <laughs> I don't think I should put like smutty books in in their free library though I don't know <laughs> they might really appreciate that or they might really not appreciate that I don't know um anyway the last book I have this one was so cool I had I just had to get it because I want to look at all of the the pictures but it's a really neat book it's really big too it's called the doll it's got like a velveteen cover it's got some really awesome doll pictures in here. That one's like not even the most cool. Hopefully you guys can see this, okay? But there's just really cool doll pictures in here. Some really creepy, some not as creepy. Like this is like a headless something or other. I don't know. I just, I was like, you know what? This is just going to be fun to look through so I picked that up and it's eating my hair um so yeah I paid two dollars for that one because it was a hardcover but that's pretty much everything for this haul you guys know I love books so I had to share because I know some of you do as well um whew, I just like I said my my to be read pile is just getting a little a little out of control and I still have another book I have to read this month for book club before the end of the month so I'm a little bit drowning in books but that's not a bad thing right anyway that's it for this haul hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time